word. Just trying to double check that this looks good, sounds good. Noise. All right, so let me get that going in the background for you hooligans. We will be getting some music going. Okay, so I'm just gonna again double check that everything looks good, sounds good, feels good. Um, but overall, this do be the vibe uh, for the next little bit. Um, give you a little bit of the agenda here and overall what I'm up to. So to catch you up to speed, all of the mod 7 to the sky is kind of like a sky factory-esque mod pack with a little bit more of a uh, um, a different progression system to it and you know overall I would say I've been enjoying it it's I feel like it's pretty straightforward um, if I wanted to I could have easily progressed through most of this Me. Okay. Word. Word, word, word. Sorry, I'm just trying to make sure that this looks, or the uh, stream sounded good. But yeah, so if I feel like I wanted to, I feel like we could have, you know, upped our overall production. But as you see, um, we're not necessarily going a conventional method of uh, resource gathering. So. Overall, um, what's popping here is this is home base, nothing too crazy. Uh, just got our simple storage, kind of a little bit diversified so that way it's not too crazy. Oh, we did get hit by lightning. I was wondering. I was curious. Um, I don't think I actually have a normal way back up there. Should probably go do some spot checking because I know in the screenshot for the stream there's actually a missing slab. So there's that. Um, but yeah, so simple tree farms, uh, kind of some plots to grow whatever you need. Uh, I'm, we might expand a little bit to include a couple of different trees, but overall, the main source of. Uh, wood is definitely spruce just because it's easy to get um, and you get a lot of it then up next we have kind of the cow pen gonna 
turn that down. <laughs> Here we have lava generation. This isn't necessarily anything new to this pack. Um, torches, cobblestone goes into the crucibles, generate lava, bam, mass storage. Then those go to these dynamos, um, which we will possibly be upgrading today because we are only producing like 40 RF a tick per at max at best and well that's great and it's filled up you know three million energy uh it's not powering 256 per tick that's that's the crazy one um i guess i can vibe with you guys on this actually um Oof, there we go. All right, so uh, in here is where the ores are being processed or like generated. So cobblestone is then getting put into a flux hammer to turn it into gravel, which then you can go or it gets sifted here. All the ores get dumped into there and then go up top just off of a simple clock pulse extender it will unlock and lock the rail up here, which is just sending this minecart back and forth. Um, and then it's mirrored on the other side. So we just have a simple back and forth. Then in here, kind of a little crazy, not too, too crazy. Um, these were also gonna be upgrading actually pretty quickly because uh, there's, there's no fuel. Um, yeah, these are collecting a bunch of stuff, and this is no bueno. Maybe what we can do, actually. Yeah, okay, so that's functioning as intended. So, something that I have implemented in this whole setup Sorry, let me get this inventory cleaned up just a little bit more. Uh, yeah, okay. Sorry, I'm just trying to get some room. So I'm gonna do that, get these going. Uh, so right here is kind of like a neutral space between everything. If there is a new thing that gets sifted and I don't know about it, it's going to just stay in here. It's not going to get processed. It's not going to... Um... Well, I should almost do one of those. Uh, but it just, it kind of exists. However, for the other parts of uh, it, it'll get pulled out based on these filters. Um, so everything that's in here, it's just going to get pulled directly into this chest. This chest has a compacting upgrade, um, which then just automatically compacts it to its pieces, or like the raw ore. Those get cooked deposited in here and then it gets another uh, advanced compacting upgrade which is then this because this kept going and we got like double compressed uh, blocks and it's like that's cool and all but no um, but yeah so this just kind of that neutral space uh, things go in here uh, we have a void filter on this um, just because these you can get a lot sounds awesome but also I'm okay I don't need much more um, then everything else will get pulled I think down below yes yeah, so this is blacklisted coal so it won't go here and it's only gonna be pulled into uh, this drawer. Yeah, that's what I like to see. So it gets 
put into this drawer, the drawer will be the bulk storage of it. Um, and then once this is full, it'll start putting it in the chest for this to hopefully be pulled first. Uh, however, these are going to be going to power, so it's kind of kind of redundant. Um, and then kind of the same principle up here. We have just another uh, loader. And that rail runs across through here, up into here. Same spiel. Hop or it'll unload into, or the hoppers will unload into this chest, which then gets dragged down to the storage controller, which, voila, our resources, we have 300 stacks of iron blocks, which we're gonna have to upgrade these relatively soon, otherwise, uh, we'll start being backed up on iron, and eventually that'll clog our system, but that, that'll be a very, very long time so we're good so our to-do list steal the sand put it right here tinker street which is what i'm about to show you upgrade furnace build sand or not sand dust sieve so this is only doing gravel. Uh, you kind of get a little bit of cool stuff from sand, but not like crazy good, you know? I think it was just like a couple of, yeah, zinc, cocoa beans, right? Like, that's cool. Yeah, at its best here, we're getting prismarine and iron. Waterlogged. Uh, oh, we just get coral. All right. So yeah, sand's still pretty much useless, but we're gonna be building uh, all the stuff for the sand or the dust generation. I think I forgot to show you guys this. It's just the access hatch. Um, so this is where we can reach all of the cabling. Double check our power supply. Goodbye, squid. Um, kind of get in and work on things, all, all, be, all beneath the scenes kind of stuff. So like, yeah, bam, all that is the output for the furnaces, uh, the output for this chest, the coal line gets directed into here, coal gets pulled from both sources, and then put up top for that. However, we will be switching up to power soon. And that, that's not my stuff. <laughs> so, Tinker Street is this. Um, the idea is um, each of these like shops, so to speak, will be uh, a different focus for Tinker's construct. And just more of a way to keep it organized. Yeah, you could just have a nice room, some organized chests, but this just seemed like it'd be a fun little little addition. Um, and then these frames, I need to figure out how to put a some kind of like marker of what this is. I could do like some terracotta maybe. Try and figure something out. I am not too entirely sure. Um, oh, maybe we do these frame panels, but they do like a divided pair. Um, and then we'll get like an 18 by 18. We can kind of do some pixel art that way. Cause we need to do like a sword do a chess piece and then this one will do like a shield or something I don't know uh, but yes yeah, so this is where I'm building just kind of 
keeping it a little bit simple for the rest of the design. some simple stuff um but yeah it's the world have a little bit of like uh some recordings of me setting up like this bit kind of building out from after we got the uh gravel shack going and then kind of the whole process of getting this put together. A um, couple of jump cuts here and there between progress. But yeah, that this isn't anything crazy. It's just a create warehouse. Um, I just knew that create needed a lot of space. Created a giant space for that to take space. Uh, and the only thing I'm using it for is a haunted sand blaster. So yeah, that's how we're getting our blackstone. <laughs> I still have to get the framing in on this. Shit. All right, and then we'll just those, those get these decorated. That could have been bad. <laughs> Alright, and then what we're gonna do... The goal of that was just to get the dark oak. We're gonna be using this uh, uh, dark oak wicker pattern. Yeah, wickered pattern. Um, I don't know. I feel like it's a decent clash. We're wanting kind of more of like a, a harsher a pr like palette, I should say. Bam. Alrighty. Let's go to bed so y'all can see better. get this frame going up here because oh wait no let's get the floor placed down and then let's get the, the roof frame going
feel like I turn into an iPad kid as soon as I uh, need to find something in these menus. There it is. My one complaint, I, okay, right now I am a huge, huge, huge fan of these frame blocks. Cause like, detail, this looks great. It looks amazing, but it's not like so over the top that it doesn't feel achievable in vanilla Minecraft, you know? Like, <clears throat> I can get most of this shape, but not the full thing. Um, it's like vanilla stairs don't do this weird bend. Uh, these sideways, well, sideways stairs. Oh my goodness, just Minecraft, Mojang, fucking put them in already. I don't think it could be that hard for sideways stairs um now the slab edges these are really nice I like the little detail that this was able to provide in here um but yeah so the the frame mod if you couldn't tell from the little bit earlier you just get these basic blocks and then if you want to put something in there you just right click it with the block that you want and the recipe for said blocks is this planks and sticks I feel like that should just be normal normal old minecraft you know but now we're gonna get you know copper buttons and but we'll just start at that we got copper can use a uh, you know a lightning rod on the house or something. It's an okay building block. I've I've seen some people recently do some pretty good builds on it, but just overall like very underwhelmed by the production of content lately. Like, I understand they gotta get the parity between Bedrock and Java. They gotta fix any leaks that they cause from their new code. Like, it just, there's a lot, and I understand. But, I don't know, there's a few quality of life mods that I definitely feel like should be, have been added a long time ago. Uh, oh, and so this doesn't drive any points. And then I know... Back over here... There's definitely a spot. Um... So a couple of simple this like design philosophies is just have fun in this world um, and so even if it's not uh, the most functional like this I'm a little more relaxed on because it's just it's the end product you know we're not producing that much we're gonna need a consistent stream of stuff coming in it is nice it is nice not to have a delay and it's nice if you need that something right then and there um, but for our purpose, this is more than fine. However, uh, pretty soon when we get upgrades for this to produce more and sand or dust coming in, yeah, we're gonna, the ender chest that I set up here, the minecart transportation isn't gonna be it, but it's a nice, like, island livelihood kind of deal, you know? Like just seeing this minecart come by and then 
it's up there and you watch it. It's just a nice little, oh, something's happening. Rather than this is where this is generated. <laughs> so. Let's start simple. We know we're gonna have stairs. Here, across the way, we might build a couple of more little shops for little things. Maybe like some stalls for like the little mods, you know? Uh, but for now, this is definitely the main purpose. And... Uh... Oof, my bad. I just blinked there a little bit. Uh, damn it. That's not what I wanted to have happen. Yeah, so uh, this is the main street, and then I just want to do like a little two wide path behind. Maybe put some like trees or something, add a little bit more green in here. I might do the same with like over there I'm not too too sure if I remember correctly I just want to do that bam 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 and then What? All right. Doing well, Ultra Gamer. How are you? Hi, cat. Gonna have to go get some more building materials real quick. Just kind of vibing on this world, to be honest. It's kind of pulling me in, just on. It's kind of on the feel on how we've been expanding out. Um. Kind of more of like a relaxed, everything has a good look, but also has an important function. Ah, oh, fun. Alright. Just casual Sunday. I 
can't change the latency to respond to you faster, damn. Things are going bad for you, or if there's something going on, I hope it gets better for you, man. If not, if it's just a hangback day, those are a okay too. the situation. So those are going. Go to bed. Uh, right now I'm working on what I'm calling Tinker Street. Um, let's hop in this real quick. So these buildings, they're just going to be for each, like, category of Tinker's Tools. I think I'm about done, though. Um, I'm just going to be slapping some stairs on for a roof. I am, might do some, like, pixel art to signify between the each building. Um, but kind of as it stands, I don't quite know. However, I think once I get these stood up and looking somewhat pretty, I'm going to be working on uh, a couple of some overall base upgrades just because we're slacking on like our gravel production or like sifting back here. Um, our <laughs> energy is a little lackluster because it's only 40 RF a tick or 80 RF in total. Uh, and that's just for even just the future expansion of these uh, uh, neural network stuff, it needs 256 and yeah, we're not producing nowhere as near. So I might make like uh, some big like power factory instead of like a powerhouse kind of thing. I don't know. We'll, we'll see when we get there, but as it stands, I believe those dynamos can... Uh, be upgraded. All right, I gotta get the iPad kids there to find it. There they are. So we need some more of those. And then... Cause like to see the textures and stuff, I need to be, I don't know, five inches from the monitor. <laughs> it's kind of bad to be honest. the fun of it and more wood Minecraft in general just had these frame blocks. Uh, they are a good time. I am not gonna lie. That's all I need. I don't know. Like it's fun to get that detail in there, but it's also nice that it's not this like overwhelming amount of work. Question. 
question is, before I was so rudely interrupted by my cat, is how to end off the back side of this roof. Like, I guess I could, you know, do the same window thing. I might push this all the way to the back and then maybe trim it up and build out some nice windows. Maybe that's the move. Probably utilize the, uh, the builder wand a bit more. Cause that that was a bit easy. Watch this mouse jump. Just kidding. And that's more stairs I need. <laughs> how tall that was. A little impulsive, but oh well. And it would be these seeds again. Ah. Say fuck it, we ball. Uh... <laughs> this counts as a block over the top of the roof. I think this counts as shelter. Give up right here. Do anything fun over the over the weekend, or just kind of kind of existing? Cause I know that's kind of where I've been this weekend. Maybe not the best responsibly, but it was definitely a good uh, recharge. still helps quite a bit. That's the other thing, well, <laughs> it's kind of easy to get all the detail on one part of the roof, you know, and like work on this side. If I want to do anything on this back part or over here, oh, this kind of looks like a really bad, like, layered cake. <laughs> oh, it do be what it do be, though. Um, that's also kind of why, like, everything has this ring around it, or this walkway. So you do have the ability to just kind of work on what you need to work on, and it's not going to be these cobblestone staircases everywhere, or your scaffolding to try and make something work. It's just, it's going to work. Roof 
we've done. Kinda. Also had an idea before I decided to fall asleep for the night of maybe doing like chimneys on these. Um, it's like one you can totally use. Like these to kind of get a shape out of it. Um, but also the flat panels. I feel like you can build a chimney out of that. This actually still sounds good. Word. Word. watching the new Avatar uh, last couple of nights and I think I'm on like episode I want to say five is where I ended off um, yeah that it's been good there's been some couple of okay changes uh, the acting's a bit stale in some other places but like overall it's still a pretty good, like, feel-good show, I would say. Um, still is hitting some of the same, like, jaw-dropping moments, I guess, uh, from the animated series. Um, but also, like, the changes that they've been adding doesn't feel too... Uh, how do you see, like jerking like it it feels very natural and it for the most part flows pretty well back over here sort of like the attention span of a chipmunk sometimes even though i feel like that's a little offensive to chipmunks all right so these are good So we'll have to kind of dog get out of my window. <laughs> okay. Like I'm glad you're having a good time. Not your window. Way not your window. Seems good. That feels good. So then we're gonna do. Okay, we we have some stones. 
just going to build literally this. So another thing that uh, I try and include going throughout is a bottom layer to any bigger patch of land. Um, that way you can just kind of freely build or, you know, work on your janky setup for whatever. You're not going to worry about things falling off if you uh, misclick or whatever. You can just break it and pick it back up and not let it fall through the world. Um, and on that, it's easy just to also like switch out pallets of blocks pretty easily. Um, like just a little bit earlier, I had to go through and make a bunch of these wickered floors. I was able to get down the exact amount of uh, dark oak that I needed. Broke it, converted it over to uh, the wickered uh, look. Bam, back in it went. this. These slabs are also bottom slabs just so uh, mobs don't spawn. Which I'm also kind of surprised we are this far into the island and I've yet to build a mob grinder, but at the same time, a lot of the time has just been spent on building. <laughs> uh, and kind of a ridiculous amount of time on the. Uh, um, the factory and all the logic that go behind there to make that functional. Take these frame panels. Probably just keep it chill with normal glass. Yeah. Yeah. I think this is turning out pretty good.
Like, it's nothing over the top, but I don't think it needs to be over the top in order to make this, like, feel good. Always mess up your blocks. Professional building tip for you right there. Free of charge. <laughs> so I also like this uh, free cam mod is the easy ability to reference your other builds. Not let it be this like back and forth. You've got to be kidding me. Not the one piece of glass holding me back. What am I looking on? Stays. You, sir, anything good for sale? Ah! A trade of extreme value. A trade of proportionate economy. Yeah, no way I'm buying a diamond for three emeralds that I can get two for one. Ooh, it looks so good. Then I think I might get a little bit funky with some of these lanterns. Um, maybe those guys actually. Word. All right. Oh no, I'll have to tap into my unlimited supply of iron for decoration. Oh, whatever will I do? Yeah, you got that right, buddy. All right, I think I'm going to put those lights in and then I'm going to switch up gears because I don't quite feel like doing pixel art at the moment. Um, however, everything I feel is, uh, coming, coming together there quite well. Um, yeah, let's see. Let's get some iron.
easy, light work, no reaction. That's how we're going to put that. <laughs> Don't think I will be using those guys. <laughs> sort through that later. It's also kind of why I wanted a uh, big backpack, it was just kind of the uh, I don't care about it idea, you know? You just throw it in there, it all kind of works out, and go through it later. But everything you need might be in there. So how bad? Okay, so my Well, hello, innocent Okafor. Welcome, uh, welcome to the party. Um, catch you up to speed. I guess uh, this is Tinker Street, which is just kind of uh, a couple of different of the exact same building for the exact same thing, but just uh, what's it? But just kind of organized down to each individual thing. And creeper. Uh oh. What we got? This dude up here, that's a creeper. Yeah, I... I vibe with that one, so that's what we're doing. So, all right, gonna get some more chains and some more these lanterns. Creeper, creeper, oh man. That's how I feel about your nugget. Be free. I forgot about these lanterns too. Ayo llama, hit it. Hit it. Yeah. Yeah, okay, bye. Let's see, what if we did like. I feel like that might be a bit better. So be here. Yeah. Yeah. That feels good. That feels cozy in there. I would make tools in this shop. I would forge fine commodities and sell them. I gotta go fix the others or the very first shop, but I think we are good to go. 
Maybe we do... I see now, now we're just all on one. Plenty of lights, why not? Mm. Now I'm questioning life, but it's fine. We'll leave it. We got we got island upgrades to do. We've got bigger batter fish to fry and lantern chains is not that big of a deal. figure it out. And for now, we'll just leave or take these down. Um, Cause the final last step is that pixel art I want for the windows, but I think we're chilling. Now for the fun of it. Let's see. Let's see the normal looks. Gotta squint the eyes just a little bit more. Yeah. I think this turned out well. I think this turned out well. Yeah. Yeah, this this feels great. This feels good. And then we're going to get like some chests, the work tables, the casting bins. We're good. We are so good. Just do the quick cleansing of the inventory. I think I might go... Do, I, do we need more wood? Do we really need more wood? That stuff can be... That stuff can be... The inventory was sorted. Ah, all right. That up. That. Yeah, I think we. Uh... Well. Well, how about, hear me out, how about we go to the nether and try and get some cool stuff. What am I missing? Cucumber, all right. Go to 
the nether for cool stuff. It's cool stuff worth it from the nether. Those are the questions we must ask. No, I think we, uh, we get some island upgrades done real quick and then we can go do some of that. tree harvesting tip go to your small tunnel because your shapeless will leave just a little bit of wood still at the very top then you gotta build that's cool that's fine that's chill however I don't feel like doing all that work when it just takes a little bit more finagling to do the initial cut but I can just do that and call it good. This says what? Seven. Chef. Yep. Goodbye, Diamond X. Hi, Diamond X. strong supporter of spruce though I will say that like I love my OG oak but uh, spruce is uh, I feel just superior and look <laughs> like that just feels a little more like even even just like directly comparing like this building, right, has a little bit more of a different feel than the way that this does. And I understand architecturally a little bit different, but like, the building concept is there. So, first upgrade, I feel like we should do furnace right we need not that it's power for heat instead of fuel then stone redstone One redstone. Okay, we have a decent amount. Stone, decent amount. Paper, we can get like so. should be good to do some cooking. How many, how many do we have over here? One, two, three, four, five words. As I have thought. And then that's good. Then we're gonna need the energy pipes. There it is. 
So now we'll just, uh... We'll gather coal. That's cool. We'll... That's... That's coal. <laughs> uh... Just disconnect... This line. I think that's that. All right. And then this, I believe, just needs to be... Wait, no, I think that is a down here job. <laughs> this just needs to... Yeah. awesome actually all right upgrade number one done that's that's huge uh, next upgrade we need So we need two flux hammers. That was just glass panes word. of these um, one to compress from gravel I, think I should probably just do this to be honest 
one from uh, Cobble to Gravel, and then Gravel. Oh fuck! Now I'm gonna need more. need more item pipes, that's for sure. platform and then we're gonna need to run power line through the bottom here like so So it goes from here. Go. I'm trying to remember since the shoe. producing dust. Dust is what we need. We go from dust to, oh, what is it called? Uh, the sieve. Which I should be able to just do right here. like the sticks new and then we just need those w so now we have that um is that cool is that what we want to do Make 
first. Let's see if we would go. That. That. So then that would go up. Okay. And then we just need to go get. We're gonna. Okay, so like this right here is exactly why this filters here. Just go pop, and then here, blacklist, Minecraft, flint. Yeah, I am extremely happy with. Uh, the power upgrade that these got. So right now, we're not really utilizing it. Um, just because we're not producing a lot of resources at the moment. But we will be upgrading it. And hopefully there we should be seeing quite the improvement. Suppose... The next thing we can go get is uh, this ender chest. Um, I believe this should be re or this should be connected to the resource network. Uh, okay, well that's not showing shit. So for now. Um, I do want to get another minecart set up here just for the consistency, eh, consistency of it. But I think I'm going to do an unloading platform right here and like build this out. Which shouldn't be hard because I can also just steal the redstone signal from this. Run this on over like out. I don't know. We'll figure it out. It should be good. This, if I'm not mistaken. White, white, blue. White, white, blue. Then where's that wrench? your uncle. Yeah, so more resource production just like that. We just need to go grab another flint. but we'll get another one just to be safe. Then iron, and I think it goes diamond, then emerald. Oh, 
I forgot a tree, that's so funny. Alright, so then... Again... This filter should catch anything new. Uh, but next we're gonna work on upgrades. Can I just make... No. I will be making that though. If I cyan terracotta... Okay, guess I'll get a small cactus farm going. Like, I guess. I guess. <laughs> like, I don't know. I really don't know. So we'll just do... So I'll have to put it like here. Oh, hey, that's not gonna work, Bozo. like that was intentional or something I don't know I just work here kind of unfortunate we'll just have to let that slowly grow uh maybe possibly there is is there flower is there flowers there's not flowers We can't get slime stuff pretty easy. Do we have a good collection of bones? Not really. Okay, here. Well, let's go back. Dust water! Ah, okay. So easy. It's literally just the cyan. We'll make a millstone. If we make a millstone, right? Crush gravel, and we'll just use the emeralds to buy the required. Yeah, we'll just use the emeralds to buy the required amount of cyan for it. That's that's honestly no biggie whatsoever. So for now, we'll just get the inventory cleaned up. I feel like that's still and that.
this, then I think... I think that might just be the best bet. Alright, so then what we need to do is figure out how to get green dye. Well, let's get um, let's see. So let's do at X. Uh, so it's two per. I would probably want. So three machines. Ooh, wait, let's just start with gold actually. So that's what, three, four. Then there's... Five, six, so 12. Cyan die. Six. So eight. That's honestly not as bad as I was expecting it to be. And let's do one, two, three, four. Let's get the remaining. My bad. stuff. Okay. Skystone dust. Useful? Not useful. How much of it do we need? Probably... Nothing to generate resources on, so we'll just bam. Goes away. Uh, Gunpowder is useful. Blaze powder. 
I know is useful, but again, how much versus would it be hard to just come in here and be like, yo, give me some blaze powder, take it off the filter, put it back on, you know? So I'm just trying to see if there's anything like, what does this stuff do? Okay. I don't think this could be compressed either. So this just might be a send it home. That might take up a lot of space though. Yeah, I think this will be, uh, we can void it. Uh, that, that'll be fine. Satis quartz. Basilican. How much? I actually don't think it'll show me. Got powder, yes. Glowstone, yes. Fluix. That seems like a resource we probably need more of. Bone meal. Sure, we'll take it. All right, so then what we do, right, is we go through. We say, hey. These are allowed through the filter, right? We we know about these. These are cool. These are fine. This will actually probably get compacted. It highlights. Yeah, we are far. Okay. Stone blaze. Do we actually need bone meal? No, I don't think we need bone meal. Best let me go. Yeah, these are allowed. Gary. Gary on Gronk. Gary on. Gunpowder, Fluix, Glowstone. Let's go in there. That's not, that's not compacting. That's not compacting. Word, okay. The redstone's good though. Oh wait, that's blocking shit. Now that the boring stuff's out of the side, this should be filtered through properly and good to go. Um, 
we should start seeing redstone pop up, but I don't know because there isn't a spot on here. Just gonna take a little little peek up here under the hood make sure that this is still and then all we have to do is get the bucket oh Bucket word. Uh, de oh shh! No! Oh no! Our green die. Dog, that's hella unfortunate. No. Okay. Well, I mean, he's at least grown. No. Hi, Chong. I do notice that this is a wee bit behind. Um, I want to say probably like a good... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> a minute behind okay, let's get these back let's go get let's go get the die that we need because I was a fool I got lost set in filters So we'll just, uh, you know, spectate this and wait till it's done. Guess, well, that is doing that. We can just run back here. Up on the patio. It's my video. What do you mean it's your video? Like I know I'm listening to a live stream in the background for the lo-fi. That's what you're talking about? Let me know. It's an issue. I'll stop. Pull it down. Um, if it's behind, I... I want to say it was like a good two minutes behind.
why am I having a hard time pulling up your video? I don't think I have links turned off in the uh, stream if you just want to send a link. Spawns. Oh, hey, it was inside. Now we just have a fuck ton of die. All right. not cropped in a good way. Uh, filters. top bar gone. But yeah, there there be the chat. Uh I I haven't seen anything. I no longer have my mouse. Oh well. Uh, normal old glass that we have a good amount of. Then the terracotta should be done. And we do indubitably need gold.
All right, let's get these going. So we need... This one. Count items processed. This should be spewing out items now. This. Just one off for now, but we'll go get some more upgrades going. Here, let's do this. Let's produce. this going down the chain because we need we need some more Pretty straightforward. Um, so much. Okay, so next we need to get some dynamo upgrades. Just go that fast. I guess so. Like, what's waiting up here? Nickel. Redstone. Nice. That, honestly, the automated redstone will be, I want to say, one of the bigger things for the island, just because that was something we were still manually trying to obtain. Um, and that should let us get on to some more projects into, like, this area. Um, make some, like, badass tools and stuff. Go bully the nether. They bullied me long enough, damn it. I still think it's an extra item upgrade. Oh, 
it's like getting in there just in time. I wanna, you know. So that that'll be that for now that'll definitely be that for now uh i'm sure our power supply yeah i bet she's taking a hit in fact i bet this one oh no that's all right all right okay so we need Magmatic. Show me. Thermal. Dynamos. If I just look at Dynamo. Word. Okay. Because we have... Magmatic Dynamo. The Igneous Extruder. Nah, that's cool. You can do what you want. That's a waste of redstone. <laughs> Interesting that that doesn't have an EMC value. Simple to get. What is this used for? Coins. How much? Sixty four thousand. Mm. Gorman Dynamo. Food. My cup of tea. I used to, uh, my go to setup, right? My go to setup in Sky Factory for power is you would make a, uh, a farmer and just attach it to a wheat farm. And then from that wheat farm, have it get compressed into flour because then you're doubling your bread output. Cook the flour into bread and then cook the bread into toast. And I think you would spend like 2,000, maybe 5,000 RF to craft it, but you were generating 64,000 RF per piece of toast. And you had permanent food, you had a permanent fixture for your island, it, it worked. So I think in general though, we're gonna hit it. Oh, Signalium? I think we can alloy that. Yeah. Redstone, silver, copper. Three copper, one silver, four redstone. That's the ratio. That's kind of crazy. Well, can we stack these? I guess we'll try and make... We'll 
try and make two. Try and look up a hardened glass. is three, so we need 12 redstone. Then if I have to do this ingot by ingot, I will preferably not. <laughs> I guess I could make a plate mold. I'm gonna need a magma crucible, damn. Can't knock the good pencil off. Anything cool I can do with this? Lava. Eh. Okay, well, it needs to be made. We need. Tin. We need glass. Hopefully we should have some sand. I think that's gonna do what I wanted it to do. We'll fix that in just a second. Kinda easy, kinda simple. Uh So kind of simple. So it just needs to go there. Yeah, there we go. Now we're generating some sand. How oh shit are we for power at the moment? We are in oh shit. And I think mostly that has to deal with these furnaces. Fortunate, really. But, keep going. Keep trucking. You can make these upgrades. I think it's that. Yeah, 10. Save some space throughout the fucking feather. Let's go put the... Thank <laughs> you. 
create stuff back. Get the bucket out of here. Invar. I don't think I. Invar on me. Aluminum, nickel, lead. I don't have Invar. Let me tell you. So we just put those on. We come in here. It was two to one, right? So let's get one more ingot. How does it show that actually filling up? But you know, it is what it is. It do be what it do be. stuff guys nether brick <laughs> that that one we don't have let me tell ya okay well, can we get nether wreck here or should I just suppose we can do that Well played, magic man. In by put there. Two sets. So let me just get lava. Ooh, 
Ooh, another thing I just thought about that we can do is maybe hook up some dynamos out here. That, that might also help. I think that might be the move, actually. Hello? Okay. <laughs> that needs to be cooked. Also need to get some sand for some more glass. This is handling it like a champ. This not so much. Yeah. Oh, I guess power is an issue to be had. <laughs> I mean, let's see, let's think about it. If we have power production there. Got the machine frame, right? Okay. Crucible.
That's unfortunate. <laughs> I think the first death, and we are what? Two hours in? That's unfortunate. So, um, okay. We got the Invar. Okay, we go magmatic. We need, I think, five of those. So, I need some more of these pipes. I think that's five. Get we ball six. Six is where we're going. Dynamo, which means we need more invarks. This is not enough. Did I tear up the floor? Absolutely. fucking lutely Did I have to? Probably not. So then that's what ye old access hatch is for. Just get a little more planks. like the sketchy underground like sewer line kind of area Where everything can just fall into shambles and you're like oh okay until the bottom one's fully charged. What was the ratio again? Nickel, iron. Not that much. Let's go like... Eight of those... Four. 16 of those. Then I'm actually going to do a little switcheroo because there's a something. 
thing that we can do. So that should be automatically turning into Invar. Which is nice, because uh, then from the Invar, we can start making our dynamos, then increase our power production. Bottom beam, bada boom. I heard another one go off, so I might as well just the others. I think it's just... Oh wait, no, because I want to make six. Bam. And then we should have an Invar problem for a little bit. <laughs> yeah. So we're just going to go ahead and throw this over here. Get these generating the power that we need. Whether or not it's the lava generation we need, that's another question. But this is where we're at. These are going to pull all of that lava. We'll just switch out the tanks. Yeah, okay. Nice. And then we'll put this at the end of the chain. And then down here, we should be seeing good energy. We are generating, let's see, 40 times 8, 320. Keeping up, but we now have this. Just in a bucket. That should make it a bucket, though. 
Yeah. Word. Except I'm gonna get... 10 more going, so we can do... A perfect... Number on that. We're making upgrades. We're making upgrades. Silver, redstone, copper. Silver's at 189. Get some copper. Hi. Right. This guy's in use. <laughs> Damn it. Much more do we have? I guess we can wait this out. Does redstone? I'm so confused. How do you? sucks <laughs> I have all of the pieces I have all the components that one would need right Is that what I have to do? That's what I have to do. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, so then we're gonna need copper, silver. Oh no. I'm not 
not sure. Like right now, I am pretty sure if I just This should start going up. Unless we really are consuming that much. All right, well, let's, let's do this. Let's disconnect. Disconnect those two. How much power are we using for just dust? 320. How much power are we using for gravel? 20. We go up to here. Cut that off. These upgrades, like, really? Okay, well, I figured out the Signalium thing. Um, so, like, an Ender Tink? Yeah, and then we'll just do a massive lava sheet. Get that generated. Um, Signalium here, duh. Silver. Are we not? We're not hot enough. Damn. So we need a little frustrating but we will go to the nether we're gonna have to make um what's it uh some sort of cleaver all sorted up and pretty Thank you. 
go up here. Ban, ban. Easy and good to go. So, I think uh, we might be a little too big for our bridges here. Gonna. I think lower the overall count of our upgrades. Cause like we're cooking. We're doing what we should. I just don't think we have enough. I don't think I even did I I left it disconnected, damn. So let's go repair our line. Let's go see if we're generating power with uh, all these dynamos. We're not generating as much lava as I would like. And I still need the wrench for that dope. Okay, we are generating power. Not by much. But it is some. Um... Oof. It's just dropping though, because it's filling up the... Uh... Uh... The reserves. Then we're going to get the wrench. We are going to supply lava. And we are going to supply lava. So maybe it wasn't time for upgrades. Maybe maybe it's time to let those sit back. I guess we would also be filling up these. Okay, so now that that's full, all right, so we are just keeping up. Oh, I guess we're still filling this up. All right, so I guess we'll give it a second, try and see if these fill up a hundred percent. Um, but I think. Our next goal. Hey, we did what we wanted. So I think our next goal. Um, we have the create factory here. So maybe we'll do like go this way, and then we'll call it like. the energy warehouse or something. I don't know. Um, but we'll produce uh, lava and then from the lava we'll go up to our magmatic dynamos. Um, the Dynamos will then probably just get put back into the network somewhere. I don't know if they we have flux. Oh, we do. Obsidian flux dust. Okay. 
can. I think. Oh no, we might be a little fucked. These are full now. And then I bet we're generating power. What we like to see. We are generating some lava. Um, I think as long Yeah, all right. Ah, uh, thousand and twenty-four. This should be pulling that. Yeah, we're just struggling. Damn. That is those emerald furnaces. Probably hit at equilibrium though. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess to kind of review how things have gone around here, uh, we started off the stream just kind of framing out a house. Nothing too crazy. Um, we ended up building what is now known as Tinker Street, which is right here. Um, each of these will be used for their own crafting purposes for uh, all the different Tinker's constructs, like tool categories. Like here will be the armor room, here will be weapons, and then down here will be like your pickaxe, your hammer, and stuff like that. Ooh, I should probably get rid of the scaffolding on the back. Um, well, I guess I need a way up. I can hide it in the back. Uh, but then we're going to be doing maybe some pixel art or something here. Maybe some stain. Ooh. Yeah. Maybe I'll do that. Some, like, stained glass. Um... And then we could do a little pixel art of what is in here. 
Um, then from after finishing this, we went in here, we converted our furnaces to power. Um, absolutely awesome. They're doing what they need to do. And the last but not least, we built the dust sieve uh, so we can start our redstone production. Um, I guess we should also add uh, Is there anything maxed out that could be getting blocked at the moment? Didn't realize we had some flint um think honestly just need to build just that so then we have access to pretty much everywhere that isn't necessarily unloading things. It's not a problem though. And then I guess more of a curiosity thing. I suppose we'll want to look with the upgrades. See, so it just gets loaded up. Let's see if we can beat it back. Flux dust, gunpowder. That is so. That should be back here. Bam, that went up. That went up. That went up. So nice. So crisp. So clean. This right here is like a reserve power. Um, so I'm hoping that once we hit a hundred, we can kind of like yeah, like it's getting a bit. I think the first one it's gonna fill is this. And these guys are kind of just in a relaxed passive generation. So Yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Uh for those that tuned in, thank you so much. Uh it was a pleasure having you guys in on stream. And for those that actually went out on their own to watch this for some reason, uh, I appreciate you guys too. Um, I'll probably be editing this down. Whoa! <laughs> uh, I'll edit this down into something a little bit more. Let's see if I can do this. A little more uh, interesting for a casual video rather than, um, you know, this whole live stream of uh figuring things out in real speed to say the least uh so when it comes to things like um you know hey this isn't working what's the problem and then i gotta figure that out yeah that's that's why sometimes this takes a while but um for things that i kind of already know and how to figure out and set up 
like said dust sifter um it works out pretty well uh things can go up pretty quick things don't really necessarily cause issues and um everything just kind of works um but yeah so next plans as i said probably some form of better lava production uh as well as energy production um just because what we have now it's definitely starter it's keeping the lights on it's keeping the resources get coming but it, it's not doing the trick for anything besides that if we want faster production if we want better things better uh tools and services at our disposal then those will definitely need to um need, need better power behind them because yeah so that being said though we're gonna need no actually i don't think we need to go to the nether for the signalium upgrades yes the actual you know duma hickey the actual lava generation no we're chill there's no lava there but yeah i've been rambling on for like two minutes now thank you guys uh have a good day we'll see you guys in the next one and until then bye bye